Hi, I'm Magda. In this episode, we are going to create a simple Facebook application. In this case, a photo gallery. Our app is already deployed on our web server. The application's functionality is implemented as a jQuery gallery. Have a look! Now, as we would like this page to display on Facebook, we need to create it as an application. Set some display option and at the end, test the functionality. Start by going to the Facebook developer's site at developers.facebook.com slash apps. Click create new app. Enter an app display name, which will be displayed to users. Also, enter an app namespace. It has to be at least seven characters long and can only contain lowercase characters, dashes and underscores. Select I agree to the Facebook platform policies and click continue. Enter the CAPTCHA code during the security check. A blank application has just been created. To populate it with some content, we need to change one setting to point Facebook to our site. In this section, select how your app integrates with Facebook. Click on app on Facebook. Enter the canvas URL. This is the location of your application on the internet that will get placed into an iframe on Facebook. It has to point to a directory, so it has to end with a slash. Click Save Changes. As our content is wider than default 760 pixels and will not fit nicely on the Facebook page, we have to adjust one more setting. In the left-hand navigation, choose Advanced under the Settings. In the Canvas Settings section, set Canvas width to Fluid. Click Save Changes. All it took was a couple of clicks and our application is ready. Let's test it. Go back to the basic settings page of your application. Locate the canvas page value and copy it. Paste it in the URL field of your browser. Your application should now appear on Facebook. As you see, Publishing your own pages as application on Facebook is really easy. What is going to be vital is constructing the functionality of those pages. See you soon!